All right. How are y'all doing? Good. Yeah. Oh, well, I usually have to ask a second time. Uh, you guys got the script. It's a Wednesday, right? You're all a bunch of ballers coming out to see Steve Poltz. He's got this fantastic album here. It's called Shine On. Our good friend Will Kimbrough's playing guitar. You got free beer. If you missed the announcement, it's back there. Go get one. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Steve Holtz. Thanks for coming out. How's it going? Free beer. <laughs> Why did I quit drinking? <laughs> All right, um... This is a song I wrote with my friend Molly Tuttle, and uh, Molly came over to my house and she said, what do you want to write about? And I said, all I know is I want to say, oh, trout, I dies for you. And Molly said, how about we cut out the trout and just say, I dies for you. And so that's what happens when you write songs with people. So we came to this agreement. And she said, why do you want to say I dies for you? And I said, because in Newfoundland, I'm, I'm originally from Halifax, and my mom's from Cape Breton, but all the relatives are from Newfoundland. And they say, oh, Trout, I dies for you. And I love that saying. It's so sweet. So uh, when we say oh, I dies for you, you'll know where that came from. I think Molly might even be here. Oh, there she is. Yeah, so this was written with my friend Molly. This, this is called uh, Over the Top for You. Stop once rubber hits the road. I'm bound from Mexico. Daylight wakes my sleepy head. Turns the mountains go. I had one too many ties to you. One too many tries for you. Oh my love, I died for you. But I'm over now. There's a snake in the middle of the road Do I swerve to miss? I can't shake this feeling that I hold There's poison in your kiss I had one too many ties to you One too many tries for you Oh my love, I died for you But I'm over now Yeah, at the Ryman. 
I like your hair. Yeah. Look at you. You're a future. You are a future songwriter. You're going to save the planet. Do you know that? The world is counting on you to start a band in your garage and change the world because we're bad inhabitants. <laughs> when, I, when I moved here, I live, I live over by uh, Murder Kroger, which doesn't have as good a produce as Kidnap Kroger. And so <laughs> my buddy Scott Sachs said, you know, <clears throat> that pharmacist at Murder Kroger is really pretty. And that'd be cool if you had a crush on your pharmacist and you kept wanting to get sick. And so we pulled out our guitars and I was like, that's going to be in the key of G. <laughs> so we, we wrote this song and this is called Pharmacist and it's one of my favorite tracks. So, uh... Oh, and the record was produced by this guy, Will Kimbrough. <laughs> and I got to tell you, when, when we made this record, he was going to get a really expensive studio in Nashville and he said, we can go over here to this one or this one or this one. And we were in this shed in his backyard and I was like, what's wrong with this shed? And he's got like all these rabbits and pigeons in cages. And he goes, I go, just move the rabbits and pigeons outside, and snakes. And so we made it next to like gasoline cans and stuff and it's just got a better vibe. And so that was the best place to make the record. And the record only cost me $13.49. <laughs> so cool. But it sounds like a million dollar record. Because he has this one plug-in called Million Dollar Plug-In App. And this is Pharmacist. We used Lyric App to write this. <laughs>
ice cream cones ever that you guys are eating. Where did you get it? Sip? It's better than beer. Ice cream's better than beer. Man, that's gonna be my new song. Ice cream's better than beer. Because of you guys, it's gonna be a hit. It's gonna go like, that'll be good. This is what it's gonna go like. I think it'll sound like this. Ice cream's better than beer. Let's see. I forgot you guys were here. I thought this was the kids' show. 
That was cool. We'll never hear that again, but it was only for us, right? All right, so I got this new record out. It's called Shine On. Will Kimbrough produced it, and uh, he did a great job. And um, this is a song that I wrote with my buddy, Anthony DaCosta. Do you guys know who Anthony DaCosta is? Hey, Anthony, come up here. So I wrote this song with Anthony DaCosta, and he came over, and uh, this is Anthony. He's on the road right now with my friend Molly Tuttle, and uh, he played with uh, Ifo Donovan, he played with Sarah Jarose, he was on Joey Williams' new record, and he was just my tour manager last weekend at Nelsonville, Fe Festival, Nelsonville Music Festival in Mountain Stage NPR, and he played with me, he did double duty. And we bonded on the road the way bonding happens. <laughs> we bonded. And I, I love it. No. Um, anyways, this is a song that we wrote together. This is the, the new hit song. And uh, I was in Nashville and I was going to lunch with a cool record guy, some guy. You should sing harmony on this. And uh, the record guy, we, we went out to get a sandwich and that guy would not even pay for my sandwich. Like a booking agent. You think a booking agent would buy you something? So I go to get the sandwich and we're over in Nashville on the other side and the lady said to me, that'll be $7.67. And all I had was a hundred dollar bill. It was a Wednesday and I handed her and she said, ooh, balling on a Wednesday. And then I said, did you just say balling on a Wednesday? And she had a cool gold tooth right there and the light was glistening off the gold tooth like lightning strikes. So I said, I'm gonna go home now and write a song called Balling on a Wednesday. And then Anthony calls me up. He goes, what you doing? I go, writing a song called Balling on a Wednesday. And I'm telling you, he was in my house in two minutes like a cartoon. And he was skidded into my driveway. He goes, I want in on this. He goes, don't tell Molly Tuttle. I want it just to be a 50-50 co-write. I go, but I love writing with Molly. He goes, I need the money. <laughs> you, you and Molly wrote a Jewel song that you and Jewel never finished, and that's going to be a hit. I said, all right. So this is a song that I wrote with Anthony, and this is called Ballin' on a Wednesday, on a Wednesday at Grimey. <laughs> Day. I got a dollar in my pocket Let's go riding in my rocket I want to work then play the work the next day Falling on a Wednesday You've been working real hard I've been wanting you harder Could be prettier, I could be smart I want to pick you up and drive real fast Let's get up that bar under the old Get the neighbors, you gotta sit it for your kid. I'm your humpin' DJ playing all your hits. Hey, baby, you got a quarter, I wanna hear. Hey, Porter, Johnny's got all the cash. Ballin' on a Wednesday. Some will call it humpin'. I got a dollar in my pocket. Let's go ride it in my rocket. I wanna work and play the work. You're gonna wanna call 
and sick I went on a Wednesday I didn't go to college, did the school of hot knocks I've been changing tires and putting in shots Times I want to scream in the middle of the week Might be Wednesday, but I'm about to pick I'm on and get out on the highway Mercury haze Watermelon sugar gonna take away my brains I got a full take of gas Ready to fly I'm gonna take it to the top I'm gonna take it to the sky Falling on a Wednesday Some will call it hump day I got a dolly in my pocket Let's go riding in my ride I wanna work then play the work the next day Work then play the work the next day That's Anthony DeCosta, ladies and gentlemen. I love him so much. Buy his record, his new single's coming out on Friday. And he is amazing. And come up here, Stacy. This is Stacy. She directed the video that just came out yesterday for Ballin' on a Wednesday. One of my best, dearest friends. This is Eastside Stacy, the biggest troublemaker you'll ever meet in your life. She has never turned down a fight from anybody. She is a badass woman. And she did such a good job uh, directing this video. I love her so much. So um, make sure you check out the video and give Stacy a hug. And if you need a video made, you know where to go. Come to me first, because I get a 10% commission. <laughs> it's all about the Benjamins. No. This is Stacy. Thank you, Stacy. Oh man. Hey Molly, you want to sing a harmony on this one? Okay, cool. I want to invite my friend Molly Tuttle up to sing a harmony on this one. So, uh, what's cool about life is a lot of times you're with somebody and you're writing songs. This is Molly Tuttle, by the way. Come here, Molly. Hi. So, Molly comes over to my house a lot and we make up songs together and have the best time. Anyway, she was at my house one day, and she goes, okay, I gotta get going. As you do, you're done with the session. We wrote a couple songs. So she's getting ready to leave, and she goes, I gotta go, I'm late. And I said, you know, I have this one song I wrote, right after I wrote, You Were Meant For Me with Jewel, um, 22 years ago, I think it was. We wrote this other song, and we, all, we never finished it. We only did half the song. And Molly goes, yeah? And I go, you want to hear it? She says, yeah. So I play her the song that was written 22 or 23 years ago with Jewel. And Molly goes, oh my God, I love this song. Can I finish it? Which is a good thing to ask. Like, you got to ask people for things. <laughs> and so I said, sure, you can finish it. So she takes it home and finishes it and writes beautiful lyrics. So then she says, oh my gosh, I love the song. I want to put it on my record. I got Jason Isbell playing on it. I got Sierra Hall and Jason singing harmonies. Um, we're going in, Compass Records gave us a $150,000 budget, and they bought me a new house, her, I'm talking about, not me. And that's how much they believed in her, and so they gave her a $150,000 check, just because she's Molly Tuttle. So then, Molly goes, I'm gonna go in and record it, did Jewel like it? Well, I had texted Jewel and said, hey, I met this cool girl named Molly Tuttle, we've been writing songs and everything, and she finished the song you and I wrote 20 years ago, but we never finished. She finished it, so we just want your blessing so she can put on the record. She's got to go in there. Well, radio silence from Jewel. I sent her the song. I'm like, holy shit. Sorry. I said, holy crap. Holy poo. <laughs> it's getting worse. So, so, I, so I sent her the song and everything, and so nothing from Jewel for a week, two weeks. So I'm freaking out because I told Molly. Molly goes, so it's cool? And I go, oh yeah. <laughs> That's exactly how I said on the phone. I go, it's cool, Jewel says it's okay. So Molly goes in and records it. There are literally thousands of dollars now in this. Jason's playing on it, Cyril, 
Molly's got it recorded, they're printing up their record. And I'm going, at night, I can't sleep, because all I'm thinking about is, I am such, I am so in deep crap. I don't know what's gonna happen. And so, I don't tell Molly, and I just figure, well, I'm gonna get in trouble, and I don't know when it's gonna happen, but I can deal with it. And then out of the blue, Jewel texts me, two weeks later, and she goes, Poltsy, Jewel, oh my God, that girl Molly, that's what she called her, that girl Molly, love. Love her. Love the song. Sorry I didn't get back to you sooner. I was on a silent meditation retreat. <laughs> so, I want to sing harmony on it. I want you to hear the song. I know it's my record release, but I love the song so much, and this is on Molly's record, which you should buy today. Don't even buy my record. <laughs> buy her record. It's so good. And so this is a song called Million Miles Away. <laughs> Will you do it and I'll just sing harmony? Okay, cool. Will does. Will Kimbro does. <laughs> Do I have a capo? Yeah. Awesome. Right there. Look at that. You've never seen Molly play such a trashy guitar. <laughs> this is great. I want a picture of this. I'm putting, it on, I'm putting this on Instagram right now just to say, busted playing a, sh a shitty tailor that's beat up. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's going right now on Instagram. Okay, good. I'll sing harmony. Thank you. 
Thank you, Steve. That was so cool. So, Molly's gonna be playing at Telluride Bluegrass Fest in two weeks, and I'm playing at Telluride Bluegrass Fest. And guess who lives in Telluride right now? Jewel. So, this is gonna be crazy, because I'm gonna be on stage for my set. There'll probably be like 8,000 people there. It's gonna be nuts, oh my god, so. And Jewel texts me the other day and goes, Pulsey, I'm gonna be there. I go, come up and sing the song with me. She goes, sure. So you're gonna get up. I, like, we're gonna reenact what happened here, only it's gonna be cooler. I'm gonna say how I lied. And then you guys can both kick me in the butt and we'll do that song. It's gonna be insane, okay? And Jewel will hug you. It's gonna be like beautiful. And then we'll all sing, We Are The World. You guys are all coming with us. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna actually, we're gonna uproot Grimey's. I've made enough money now in my life from that song, from what Compass gave me. And we're gonna put this, you know those wide loads? Grimey's is gonna go to Telluride with all of you in it and free ice cream for everyone. Can I get a hallelujah? Oh, and she's gonna be on the boat I'm going on next year too, Kayamo. And we got the Mastersons in the house. Come up here, Mastersons. Like I said, today, you can get my record if you want, but the Mastersons are here. They're gonna be on Camel too, and they're in, they're the Dukes of Steve Earle and the Dukes, but more than that, they're the Mastersons. They have records in here too. Come up here. So. Well, we're gonna do a song together. Okay. And it's gonna be so cool. And uh, you're staying up. All right. And, uh, all right, are you guys ready for this? Um, I was just watching Bob Dylan, uh, Rolling Thunder Review. It's so good, it's on Netflix today. I went to Moss Tacos with a goal in mind. There was 30 people in line. I went up to the bar and acted like I was gonna order a drink even though I've been sober 14 years. And I go, my voice cracked like Brady. Greg Brady's voice or something at Peter's. I go, can I get a Tobo Chico? And they let me order my tacos at the bar and I brought it home, got in bed and watched the Rolling Thunder review <laughs> Scorsese before I came here. So let's do a Dylan song for everybody here and for you guys. Hey you guys, this has been so much fun. Uh, my name's Steve Poltz. I'll do a, uh, I'll do a, uh, if you want to get a record signed of the new record, I would love to sign it. And these are the Mastersons, and pick up their record, pick up Molly Tullis' record. Oh my God, Grant Lee, come up here and sing on the chorus. Grant Lee Phillips is here. Do you guys remember Grant Lee Buffalo? This is Grant Lee Phillips. I toured with this guy, we had so much fun. These guys were on the road with R.E.M. So let's, uh, this is Grant Lee Phillips. Pick up Grant Lee Phillips records here and Grant Lee Buffalo records while you're at it too. Just spend all your money here. By the way, since I'm playing here, they told me I get 25% discount. I'll pass all that shit on to you guys. Let's make Grimey's go broke. They'll go, I'll get $1,000 worth of music, but I'll get 20% off, which is 800 bucks, kids. <laughs> and free beer. This is the greatest show I've ever played. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you to Red House Records for putting out my record and Compass Records. I love you guys. Oh, Anthony, you should be up here singing this too. Molly, this is the big finale. What we're going to do is... We're gonna do three guitar solos. In the middle of it, Will's gonna hand the guitar to Anthony, who's gonna play a guitar solo. Anthony's gonna hand it to Chris Masterson, who's gonna play a guitar solo, and then it'll go back to Will. May God bless and keep you always. May your wishes all come true. And may you always do for others. And let others do for you. Amelia, get up here. May you... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your wife. And may you stay. Forever young. Let's try this together. It just goes forever young, forever young. May you stay forever. Forever young.
up the lyrics to Forever Young and give me the second verse. <laughs> May your heart always be joyful. May you... So no. Oh, Gina's got it. What's the second verse? What's another verse? May the force be with you. That's Rod Stewart. Okay, what is it? That's Rod Stewart's Forever Young. Forever Young, I want to be forever young. Hot legs, I'm talking to you. Hot Maggie, I wish I I got it. May you grow up to be righteous. May you grow up to be true. May you always know the truth. Get close and see the light surrounding you. May you always be courageous, stand upright and be strong, and may you stay.
If you're going shopping for records, you should hit up Grimey's. Cause they got free beer and ice cream. As the English say, oh blimey. Here's a song Grant Lee, here's a verse Grant Lee wrote. May you always be moist and meaty. Like Miley Cyrus's tongue. And may you stay. Forever young. This is what it would sound like if Neil Diamond was singing this. Check this out. Forever young. <laughs> Thank you, America. Forever young. Steve Coates. Won't you stay? God bless America. For with us. Come on, Amy Spies. We gotta do this last chorus. Ladies and gentlemen, Amy Spies in the house. This is the big ending. Thank you to Grimies for having me here. Don't forget to start a garage band, you kids. You're gonna change the world. I'm giving you superpowers right now, standing up here. I'm hypnotizing you. You will start a band. You will be on this stage rocking out. You will change the world. Yeah! Let's do it, Lord. Thanks for coming out today. Free beer. Ladies and gentlemen, from Halifax, Nova Scotia, and currently Nashville, Tennessee, that's Steve Pulse.